Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing saying goodbye to spirits and deities. So yeah, like and subscribe for engagement. Comment if you have any questions on anything that you would like to see from me and we will move on. So saying goodbye to a deity is something that pretty much anyone who works with spirits is going to have to do with the exception of your patron because your patron is with you for pretty much your entire life from birth till death and that reflects your life purpose or the deity that is around you that is your patron um, will reflect your life purpose however we have deities that sometimes if you work with if you work with them, they will come in to teach you very specific lessons that you might need in your life, teach you certain things um, for behavior, teach you certain things for, um, you know, magical kind of purposes, or whatever it is that you just need at the time. Sometimes uh, you can call in a deity and work with them temporarily because you need help with, you know, work or a family member. That's also another thing. So, we have them around us for a lot of different reasons and eventually that time will come where the job is complete and it is time to say goodbye. Now, even though it can sometimes actually be quite sad to say goodbye to a deity, especially if you have had that deity around you for a very uh, long time. I know some people, especially those that work with the Goetic Spirits, mention that they have you know, certain uh, spirits around them for even like five years. So it can be quite sad. However, it's not something that you should say be, you know, offended by that they don't want to be around you because that's most likely not the case. Um, oftentimes the deity is leaving you because you've actually, um, you know, been successful, obviously assuming that you kept your proper etiquette and that you, you know, did kind of what you were supposed to do and by that I mean if you were told to work on independence, you did your shadow work, or you know, you maintained the relationship with that deity. Now, we often have um, you know, altar spaces with them, um, with that deity, with say candles, um, food offerings, crystals, or whatever. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you something of how to let go of those things. So, um, Sometimes what I like to do, and I'm actually going to share with you something that I am, well, roughly, <laughs> something that I'm planning to do with Apollo because he's going to be leaving me um, very soon. Um, if you can, pick a certain time in the day that is suitable for you that can also resonate with that deity. So for me, um, I'm saying goodbye to Apollo. I might do this at the sunrise or sundown on Letha. Now, if you are working with a deity of the night, you are probably going to want to maybe do it at sundown or sometime um, in the dark, like when it's uh, late at night um, or, you know, whatever. Obviously doing it suitable to you, they're not going to be offended if it's not in your availability to do it at like sunrise or sundown or something like that. Now, when you have a candle um, for that deity, I suggest that you burn the last little bits of that candle um, that night. So um, when you're setting up your ritual, you have that candle burning so you can use it up um, and also uh, it's respectful to the deity. Now, when you have things like offerings such as paper offerings, if you ever had things like money, um, if you can, I would maybe burn that um, outside if you can, like uh, likewise with like food and stuff, um, you know, disposing it in a way that is respectful to the deity and also to the earth. So obviously if you are giving a deity offerings that have chocolate in them, do not leave them outside where animals can get them because that can be poisonous to most animals. However, if it's something like fruit and nuts, you may want to leave it out for birds or, you know, whatever. If you really aren't sure, obviously just check with the animals that you would have in your area so that you don't accidentally poison one. Um, but, you know, you can always ask your deity how they would like their offerings to be disposed. Now, something that I get a lot of questions on is things that are more like offerings like jewelry or um, crystals and things that are like physical, or I shouldn't say physical offerings, but they're more sentimental offerings, I should say, crystals and jewelry and whatever. Those things, I would just energetically cleanse those things and maybe place them 
backed in the box that you would typically keep them. If it's jewelry, you can place it back into the little thing that you might, like your drawer or something that you might have. If it's crystal, you can just, you know, take some incense to it and put it back on the altar and leave it at that. Also, I would go ahead and um, spiritually cleanse the space that that deity has um, kind of been in. So if you have, you know, a specific spot, say in your bathroom, I would definitely take some incense or bells or something like that to the bathroom, as well as also physically cleaning the space because that is a proper way of showing respect to them. So taking some disinfectant wipes, wiping down the mirror or anything else just to kind of say, you know, thank you for, you know, being with me and I'm, you know, getting rid of this energy now obviously more respectful than that i'm just kind of trying to be a little bit more straightforward here um and yeah that's essentially it when it comes to the candle obviously at, uh like when you're finished doing everything you can just blow out the candle and discard it as you would typically do with any other candle and yeah that is essentially how you say goodbye to deities you can also um find like a tarot spread that you might want to do for them just to kind of because sometimes I know um, as they're closing out they might want to tell you that they're proud of you or just whatever else and yeah that's essentially it I think I have pretty much everything done here by the way just in case you don't know sometimes I would be on the lookout for any signs of that deity over the past couple of days because sometimes what they will end up doing is kind of reciprocating that goodbye I love you energy so if you say goodbye to a deity like Nyx you may have a flock of ravens outside your window for like three consecutive days or um, crows or something like that not ravens well maybe you do have ravens in where you live cool that's good for you, but I don't. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's kind of it for um, saying goodbye to a deity. Look out for the signs when you close your ritual. And yeah, uh, like and subscribe for engagement. Comment if you have any questions and anything that you would like to see from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!